The coastal village of Seabreeze was a place of tranquil beauty, where the salty breeze danced through narrow streets and the crashing waves provided a constant soundtrack to the villagers' lives. At the heart of this idyllic community lived Lucas, a seasoned fisherman with weathered hands and an unyielding spirit. Lucas had inherited his love for the sea from his father and his father before him, forming a lineage of skilled fishermen who knew the ebb and flow of the ocean better than anyone else. From the time he was a young boy, Lucas had honed his craft, mastering the delicate balance of patience, intuition, and skill required to navigate the vast expanse of the sea. As the first rays of dawn painted the sky with hues of gold and pink, Lucas emerged from his humble cottage overlooking the glistening sea. He breathed in the crisp, salty air, a familiar scent that filled his lungs and awakened his senses. It was time to embark on his daily ritual, one that connected him to the rhythm of the tides and the mysteries that lay beneath the surface. Lucas strode purposefully towards the weathered fishing boat moored at the edge of the shore. The boat, named Grace, had weathered many storms and carried the tales of countless journeys over its worn wooden planks. Lucas had a deep reverence for this vessel, as it was not merely a means of transportation but an extension of his being, a conduit through which he communed with the vastness of the ocean. With practiced hands, Lucas cast off the ropes and climbed aboard the boat. The creaking of the hull echoed the anticipation that thrummed within him. He navigated through the fishing gear meticulously arranged on deck, nets, ropes, and various tools of the trade, each item a testament to his dedication and expertise. As the boat glided away from the shore, Lucas took a moment to survey the vast expanse before him. The sea stretched out like an endless tapestry, its surface shimmering with a hint of adventure and the promise of a fruitful catch. With a heart filled with hope, Lucas let out a deep breath, his gaze fixed on the distant horizon. With precision born of years of experience, Lucas began his well-practiced routine. He unfurled the nets, casting them into the cerulean depths below. As the net sank, his weathered hands danced skillfully across the ropes, adjusting and securing them to ensure their effectiveness. He had an unwavering faith in the allure of the sea, confident that it would reward his patience and effort. The hours ticked by as Lucas maintained a watchful vigil over the gently bobbing nets. Occasionally, he would glance at the seabirds that circled overhead, their keen eyes ever watchful for signs of a fisherman's success. He found solace in the company of these winged creatures, their freedom a reminder of the boundless possibilities the ocean held. Finally, the moment of truth arrived. With a mixture of anticipation and trepidation, Lucas began to pull the nets back onto the boat. Every fiber of his being was attuned to the weight and resistance that awaited him. As the first glimmers of the nets emerged from the water, he could hardly contain his excitement. However, what Lucas beheld before him shattered his expectations. Instead of the gleaming silver bodies of fish, the nets yielded a heartbreaking sight, lifeless bodies of drowned immigrants entangled within the mesh. The sea, usually a provider of sustenance and life, had turned into an unforgiving abyss, swallowing those seeking hope and a better future. Lucas's heart sank, a mixture of disbelief and sorrow welling up within him. In that moment, his routine, once a source of comfort and familiarity, became a harrowing reminder of the harsh realities that unfolded beneath the surface. The sea, which had always been a generous friend, now presented a chilling paradox, revealing the human tragedies hidden beneath its depths. With a heavy heart and a mind swirling with questions, Lucas knew that he could not turn away from this discovery. He had inadvertently stumbled upon a crisis that demanded attention, one that would forever alter the course of his life and the lives of those in Seabreeze. And so, with newfound determination, he vowed to uncover the truth and give voice to those who had tragically perished at sea. As Lucas cast his nets into the sea, a sense of unease settled within him. The haunting image of the lifeless bodies he had pulled from the depths continued to haunt his thoughts. Yet, he couldn't let fear and despair consume him. The livelihood of his village depended on the sea's bounty, 
and he had a duty to provide for his community. With each cast of the net, Lucas hoped to find solace in the familiar routine that had defined his life. He yearned for the comforting weight of a plentiful catch, a reassurance that amidst the darkness, light could still be found. But as the minutes turned into hours, the sea remained eerily quiet, denying him the reassurance he sought. Lucas's brow furrowed, his hands growing tense as he pulled the nets back onto the boat. The weightlessness of the empty nets contrasted sharply with the heaviness in his heart. He had always respected the ocean's ebb and flow, acknowledging that some days would yield a meager catch, while others would offer abundance. But this emptiness felt different, a reflection of the emptiness within his soul. Lost in thought, Lucas absent-mindedly coiled the nets, his gaze fixed on the horizon. The vastness of the sea seemed to mirror the expanse of the unknown, leaving him adrift in a sea of uncertainty. The realization that he had unknowingly been part of a much larger tragedy gnawed at him, urging him to seek understanding and take action. Driven by a sense of responsibility, Lucas resolved to delve deeper into the mysteries surrounding the drowned immigrants. He knew that to uncover the truth, he would need to venture beyond the boundaries of Seabreeze. His journey would take him to unfamiliar shores, exposing him to the harsh realities faced by those who risked their lives in search of a better future. Word of Lucas's discovery had spread through the village like wildfire, kindling a mix of emotions, shock, compassion, and a shared determination to bring an end to the senseless loss of life at sea. Some villagers offered their support, pledging their assistance in his quest for truth. Others, however, warned of the dangers of getting involved, fearing reprisals or stirring up further unrest. Undeterred, Lucas sought counsel from the village elders, their wrinkled faces a testament to the wisdom they carried. Their weathered voices echoed tales of resilience and unity, reminding him that even the smallest actions could ignite change. They cautioned him to tread carefully but encouraged him to follow his heart's compass and bring the plight of the drowned immigrants into the light. Armed with the blessings of the village elders and a sense of purpose burning within, Lucas prepared himself for a journey beyond the familiar shores of Seabreeze. He knew that his path would be treacherous, laden with uncertainty and dangers that lurked both in the depths of the sea and the depths of humanity's indifference. As the sun reached its zenith, casting a golden hue upon the waters, Lucas set his sights on a distant horizon. The winds whispered secrets of distant lands, where stories were etched in the sands and carried on the currents. With his weathered hands gripping the worn wooden wheel, he steered his boat towards an unknown future, where the answers he sought awaited. The journey ahead would test his resolve, challenge his beliefs, and expose him to the truths that lay hidden beneath the surface. Lucas was prepared to confront the troubling discoveries that awaited him, driven by a conviction that no life should be lost, forgotten, or abandoned at sea. And so, with hope as his compass, he sailed forth into the unknown, determined to uncover the stories that the sea had kept hidden for far too long. A gasp escaped Lucas's lips as his hands trembled, his heart pounding in his chest. The shock of the grisly discovery reverberated through his entire being, shattering the illusions of his daily routine. His weathered face turned pale, his eyes fixed on the tragic tableau before him. Time seemed to stand still as Lucas grappled with the enormity of the situation. The bodies of the drowned immigrants, once full of dreams and aspirations, now lay motionless, their hopes and journeys cut short by the unforgiving sea. Their faces, etched with despair and longing, haunted his every thought. Fury mixed with sorrow within Lucas as he knelt among the entangled bodies, his hands trembling as he tried to free them from the suffocating grip of the nets. Each life lost represented a family torn apart, dreams shattered, and the desperate pursuit of a better future ending in tragedy. As he worked to untangle the nets, a tumult of emotions surged through Lucas. He felt a deep sense of guilt and responsibility, questioning how he could have unknowingly become a participant in this heart-wrenching cycle of death and despair. The sea, which he had viewed as a source of sustenance and solace, had betrayed him, 
revealing a grim reality he could no longer ignore. Lucas's mind raced, torn between his duty as a fisherman and his newfound obligation to the souls he had unintentionally ensnared. He realized that this was no longer merely a matter of livelihood, but a call to action, a demand for justice and compassion. With great care, Lucas placed the lifeless bodies side by side on the deck of his boat, paying them the respect they deserved. The weight of their presence bore down on him, their silent voices urging him to be their advocate, to share their stories with the world, and to prevent further tragedies from unfolding in the depths of the sea. In that pivotal moment, Lucas made a solemn vow. He would not let the drowned immigrants fade into oblivion, mere statistics lost in the vastness of the ocean. He would be their voice, their advocate, and the catalyst for change that their lives deserved. Lucas set a course back to Seabreeze, his heart heavy with the burden of the truth he now carried. The village awaited his return, unaware of the unfathomable turn his routine had taken. As his boat neared the shore, his mind whirled with thoughts of how to share his discovery, how to galvanize the community into action, and how to honor the lives lost by ensuring their stories were heard. With a determined step, Lucas disembarked onto the sandy shore. He knew that what lay ahead would not be easy, that the path to justice and change would be fraught with challenges and resistance. But the weight of responsibility propelled him forward, fueling his resolve to make a difference in the lives of those affected by the perils of migration and the cruelty of the sea. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a soft glow over sea breeze, Lucas took a deep breath, steeling himself for the journey that lay ahead. The village, unaware of the somber revelation that awaited them, would soon come to understand the depths of human suffering that the sea held within its embrace. Lucas's quest for justice had just begun, and the ripples of his actions would extend far beyond the shores of Seabreeze. With the spirits of the drowned immigrants guiding his every step, he would seek truth, challenge indifference, and kindle the flame of compassion that could bring about lasting change. Lucas stood on the deck of his boat, his heart heavy with the weight of the drowned immigrants' stories. The sea, once a source of sustenance and tranquility, had transformed into a grim reminder of the perils faced by those who sought refuge and opportunity. Determined to bring attention to the crisis he had discovered, Lucas knew that he couldn't face this challenge alone. With a sense of urgency, Lucas reached out to the villagers of Seabreeze. He gathered them in the village square, where the salty breeze carried whispers of his troubling discovery. The faces that stared back at him reflected a mix of curiosity, concern, and uncertainty. Lucas took a deep breath, his voice steady as he recounted the harrowing scene he had encountered at sea. As he spoke, a hushed silence settled over the crowd. The weight of the tragedy enveloped them, their eyes filled with compassion and a growing determination to address the crisis at hand. It became clear that this was not just Lucas's burden to bear, it was a collective responsibility to bring an end to the senseless loss of life in their waters. Together, they formed a coalition, a group of fishermen, villagers, and concerned citizens united by their shared resolve. They named themselves Seafarers of Compassion and vowed to advocate for the rights and safety of migrants crossing the treacherous sea. The plight of the drowned immigrants would no longer go unnoticed or unacknowledged. The Seafarers of Compassion set forth on a journey of investigation and activism. They reached out to local authorities, humanitarian organizations, and international bodies, seeking assistance, resources, and guidance. Their aim was not only to raise awareness but also to demand systemic changes that would prevent further tragedies and address the root causes of migration. As news of their mission spread, support poured in from unexpected sources. Journalists arrived in Seabreeze, their pens poised to document the stories of loss and resilience. Artists lent their talents, capturing the tragedy in hope through their paintings, music, and poetry. Activists joined their cause, amplifying their voices on social media and in global forums. The Seafarers of Compassion soon found themselves at the forefront of a movement, 
a catalyst for change that extended far beyond the shores of Seabreeze. They organized rallies, symposiums, and exhibitions to shed light on the human cost of migration and to challenge the apathy and indifference that often prevailed in society. Their efforts did not go unnoticed. Governments were forced to confront the realities of their immigration policies, recognizing the need for more comprehensive approaches rooted in empathy and human rights. Humanitarian organizations redirected their resources to provide better support and protection for migrants, both during their journeys and in their destinations. International collaborations were forged to address the complex web of factors driving migration and to foster global cooperation. The work of the Seafarers of Compassion was not without its challenges. They faced opposition from those who believed the issue was too complicated to solve or who harbored prejudice and xenophobia. But they remained steadfast, their resolve fortified by the lives lost and the stories left untold. In the years that followed, the efforts of the Seafarers of Compassion bore fruit. The number of lives lost at sea decreased significantly as governments implemented safer migration routes, established rescue operations, and promoted cooperation between nations. The sea, once a graveyard of dreams, began to transform into a symbol of hope and solidarity. The legacy of the Seafarers of Compassion endured etched into the collective memory of Seabreeze and beyond. Lucas, now an advocate and leader in the movement, continued to dedicate himself to the cause, knowing that the fight for justice and compassion was an ongoing one. The crisis that Lucas had unveiled had sparked a transformation, not only in Seabreeze but in the hearts and minds of people around the world. The drowned immigrants had become more than mere victims, they became catalysts for change, their memory a reminder of the urgent need for humanity and compassion in the face of adversity. And so, the seafarers of compassion carried on, driven by their unwavering belief in the power of unity and the resilience of the human spirit. They vowed to ensure that no more lives would be lost at sea, and that every journey, regardless of its destination, would be met with empathy, understanding, and the promise of a brighter tomorrow. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, as Lucas tirelessly delved into the investigation, driven by an insatiable hunger for truth and justice. He combed through news reports, reached out to international organizations, and connected with survivors who had escaped the treacherous journey. Every piece of information brought him closer to unraveling the layers of this heartbreaking crisis. Lucas became intimately familiar with the stories of those who had risked everything for a chance at a better life. He discovered the intricate networks of smugglers and traffickers, preying upon the vulnerable and exploiting their dreams. He listened to the survivors' accounts of harrowing journeys, filled with fear, desperation, and unimaginable hardships. The more he learned, the more he realized the magnitude of the systemic failures that had allowed this crisis to persist. With each new revelation, Lucas felt a surge of determination mixed with anger. He channeled his emotions into action, collaborating with human rights advocates, legal experts, and investigative journalists who shared his commitment to uncovering the truth. Together, they pieced together a mosaic of evidence, shedding light on the intricate web of corruption, indifference, and neglect that perpetuated the loss of lives at sea. Their findings sent shockwaves through international communities and forced governments to confront the harsh realities faced by migrants. Lucas and his team tirelessly presented their case, demanding accountability, policy reforms, and support for those affected by the crisis. Their voices grew louder, resonating across borders, as they challenged the narrative of indifference and called for a collective response rooted in compassion and human dignity. As the weight of responsibility pressed upon him, Lucas faced countless obstacles and threats. Powerful individuals and criminal networks sought to silence him, fearing the exposure of their complicity in the tragedy. Lucas endured countless sleepless nights, wondering if he was placing his own life at risk by pursuing justice. But he knew he couldn't waver, he owed it to the drowned immigrants to carry their stories forward and fight for the change they deserved. Amidst the darkness, 
Lucas found solace in the support of like-minded individuals who rallied behind him. Survivors of the treacherous journey shared their testimonies, their resilience serving as a beacon of hope in the face of unimaginable adversity. Lawyers offered pro bono services, ensuring that justice would be pursued in courts of law. Activists organized protests and awareness campaigns, refusing to let the world forget the plight of those who had perished. Their collective efforts did not go unnoticed. The media, once indifferent or oblivious, began to shine a spotlight on the crisis, exposing the systemic failures and igniting public outrage. Governments were pressured to act, as the voice of the seafarers of compassion and their allies grew stronger and more persistent. Change, though slow and arduous, started to take hold. International agreements were forged to address the root causes of migration and provide safer pathways for those seeking refuge. Smuggling networks were dismantled, and traffickers faced justice for their crimes. Policies were reformed, aimed at protecting the rights of migrants and ensuring their humane treatment. Lucas witnessed the impact of his unwavering determination. Though the weight of responsibility remained heavy, he knew that progress was being made. The sea, once a harbinger of tragedy, was slowly becoming a symbol of resilience and hope. He couldn't save those whose lives were lost, but he was determined to honor their memory by creating a world where no one else would suffer their fate. As years passed, the work of Lucas and the seafarers of compassion continued to inspire change. Their legacy served as a reminder that even in the face of unimaginable tragedy, ordinary individuals could rise above their circumstances and make a difference. Lucas, driven by the memory of the drowned immigrants, remained steadfast in his commitment to advocate for justice and compassion, knowing that the fight was far from over. And so, Lucas carried the weight of responsibility on his shoulders, driven by a resolve that had been tested and strengthened. The journey ahead would be long and filled with challenges but he remained unwavering in his pursuit of a world where no one would be left to drown in the depths of despair and the unforgiving sea. Lucas's search for answers took him far and wide, traversing coastal towns and engaging in conversations with people who held fragments of the puzzle he sought to unravel. He immersed himself in the stories and experiences of the survivors, listening intently to their accounts of treacherous voyages and unimaginable hardships. He visited nearby ports, speaking with fellow fishermen who had encountered similar grim scenes. They shared their own experiences, tales of finding bodies entangled in their nets, faces that haunted their dreams. Through their collective knowledge, Lucas began to piece together a clearer picture of the origins and circumstances surrounding these tragic deaths. With each revelation, Lucas's resolve grew stronger. He understood that finding answers was not only crucial for the families and communities left behind but also for fostering empathy and understanding among those who had yet to comprehend the magnitude of the crisis. The drowned immigrants were no longer nameless victims, they were individuals with stories, dreams, and aspirations that were cut short by circumstances beyond their control. Lucas sought assistance from local authorities, sharing the evidence and information he had gathered. He implored them to conduct thorough investigations into the smuggling networks and ensure that those responsible for exploiting the vulnerable were held accountable. His impassioned pleas resonated with some officials who recognized the urgency and moral imperative to act. Working in collaboration with humanitarian organizations, Lucas played a crucial role in identifying the bodies of the drowned immigrants, aiding in the process of repatriation and providing closure to grieving families. It was a bittersweet task, as he witnessed the mix of relief and heartache etched on their faces when confronted with the harsh reality of their loved one's fate. As Lucas dug deeper, he began to uncover the root causes of this crisis. He learned of political unrest, economic hardships, and conflicts that forced people to embark on dangerous journeys in search of safety and opportunity. He realized that addressing the tragedy at sea required addressing these underlying factors, and he joined forces with advocacy groups to advocate for comprehensive solutions. Together with like-minded individuals and organizations, 
Lucas became a voice for change. He raised awareness about the complexities of migration and the need for global cooperation in providing safer pathways for those seeking refuge. He organized forums and conferences, where survivors, experts, and policymakers came together to discuss and brainstorm sustainable solutions. The search for answers became not only an individual pursuit but a collective endeavor. Lucas forged alliances with international bodies dedicated to human rights and migration issues, leveraging their resources and expertise to amplify his message. He stood on global platforms, sharing the stories of the drowned immigrants, humanizing the statistics and urging governments and societies to act with compassion and urgency. Although the path was fraught with challenges and setbacks, Lucas's commitment remained unshakable. He was driven by the memories of the faces he had seen in the nets, their silent plea for justice and recognition. He knew that the fight for answers would be a long one, but he refused to falter in his determination to honor their lives and bring about lasting change. In the midst of his search, Lucas encountered resistance and pushback. Some accused him of meddling in affairs beyond his understanding, while others dismissed his efforts as futile. But Lucas remained undeterred, knowing that he carried the weight of responsibility to shed light on this crisis and hold those accountable who perpetuated it. As he continued his quest, Lucas discovered new leads, unearthed crucial evidence, and built a compelling case that demanded attention. His search for answers became a symbol of hope for those affected by the crisis and a rallying cry for others to join in the pursuit of justice. With each step forward, Lucas felt the weight of responsibility lifting, replaced by a sense of purpose and a glimmer of hope. He knew that the answers he sought would not erase the pain of loss, but they would serve as a catalyst for change, a change that would ensure that no more lives would be lost to the unforgiving depths of the sea. And so, Lucas pressed on, his determination unwavering. In his relentless search for answers, he became a beacon of light in the darkness, bringing solace to the grieving, and inspiring a movement that would leave an indelible mark on the world. The news of Lucas's discovery echoed far beyond the boundaries of Seabreeze, resonating with people from all walks of life. The tragedy that had unfolded in the depths of the sea touched the hearts of many, shattering the illusion of distance and reminding humanity of its interconnectedness. The image of drowned immigrants entangled in fishing nets became a powerful symbol of the urgent need for change. In Seabreeze and surrounding villages, people rallied around Lucas, offering their support and solidarity. They recognized the significance of his quest for answers and the importance of addressing the root causes of migration. Local communities organized fundraisers, awareness campaigns, and volunteer initiatives to contribute to the cause. The spirit of compassion and empathy permeated the air, binding individuals together in a shared pursuit of justice and humanity. As news of the movement spread, it reached the ears of activists, organizations, and influencers from around the world. They were moved by the story of the fishermen who had unwittingly stumbled upon a crisis that demanded attention. Many joined forces with Lucas, lending their voices, expertise, and resources to amplify the message and effect change on a broader scale. Together, they organized peaceful protests, drawing attention to the plight of migrants and calling for policy reforms that would prioritize human rights and dignity. They held panel discussions, workshops, and educational events to foster understanding and empathy within their communities. Through social media and traditional media outlets, they shared the stories of survivors, putting faces and narratives to the statistics, and encouraging others to reflect on their own roles in shaping a more inclusive world. The movement became a force to be reckoned with, transcending borders and uniting people from diverse backgrounds. Lawyers offered pro bono services to advocate for the rights of migrants and challenged the systems that perpetuated their suffering. Artists lent their creative talents to paint murals and stage performances that captured the resilience and aspirations of those seeking refuge. Humanitarian organizations and volunteers worked tirelessly to provide assistance, support, and shelter to migrants in need. Lucas, 
once a solitary fisherman, found himself at the helm of a movement that was rewriting the narrative surrounding migration. He became a symbol of resilience, his determination inspiring countless others to question their own roles in creating a more compassionate world. His unwavering commitment and the ripple effect of his actions served as a catalyst for change, challenging governments, and societies to confront the underlying issues that drove desperate journeys. Governments and international organizations could no longer ignore the calls for justice and humanity. The tragedy that had unfolded in Seabreeze compelled leaders to reassess their policies, reevaluate their priorities, and collaborate on a global scale. Diplomatic efforts were intensified to address the root causes of migration, focusing on resolving conflicts, reducing poverty and inequality, and creating opportunities in regions from which people felt compelled to flee. Awareness led to action. Comprehensive migration policies were drafted and implemented, aimed at providing safe and legal pathways for those seeking refuge. Rescue operations were strengthened, ensuring that no life would be lost at sea due to indifference or neglect. Migrant reception centers were established, providing dignified conditions and essential services to those in need. Educational initiatives were launched to foster inclusivity and promote understanding among host communities. The collective efforts of Lucas and the movement he had sparked brought about a transformation that surpassed even their most ambitious dreams. The plight of the drowned immigrants, once hidden in the depths of the sea, had become a catalyst for positive change, a beacon of hope that illuminated the path toward a more compassionate and just world. And as the movement flourished, the legacy of the drowned immigrants lived on. Their names were remembered, their stories shared, and their sacrifice acknowledged. Their memory became a reminder that no life is disposable, that every human being deserves dignity, compassion, and the opportunity to pursue a better future. In Seabreeze, where it all began, the sea no longer held only sorrow and tragedy. It became a symbol of resilience and hope, a testament to the transformative power of one person's determination and the collective will of a community. And Lucas, the fisherman turned advocate, continued to navigate the waves, guided by the unwavering light of compassion and the belief that a more just world was within reach. Empowered by the collective will to make a difference, Lucas stepped into his role as a passionate advocate for the rights and well-being of migrants. Drawing on the support and collaboration of local and international organizations, he embarked on a journey of raising awareness, promoting dialogue, and advocating for policy changes that would address the root causes of migration. Lucas worked closely with human rights organizations, lending his first-hand experiences and insights to shed light on the challenges faced by migrants. Together, they organized workshops, seminars, and public forums to educate communities about the complexities of migration and the importance of compassion and inclusivity. Lucas shared his own story, recounting the moment he pulled the lifeless bodies from his nets, humanizing the tragedy and leaving a lasting impact on those who heard him speak. His advocacy efforts extended beyond the confines of Seabreeze, as he traveled to conferences and international forums to bring attention to the issue on a global stage. With unwavering determination, he spoke passionately about the need for collaborative solutions and urged policymakers to prioritize the safety and dignity of migrants. His authentic voice and first-hand experiences resonated deeply, leaving an indelible impression on those in positions of power. Lucas worked alongside legal experts to propose policy reforms that would offer safer alternatives for migrants seeking refuge. He advocated for the establishment of legal pathways and comprehensive migration policies that would address the root causes of migration, such as poverty, conflict, and lack of opportunities. His knowledge of the sea and its dangers provided a unique perspective in discussions around rescue operations and the need for international cooperation in saving lives at sea. Through his advocacy work, Lucas aimed to dismantle the pervasive narratives of fear and hostility that often surrounded migration. He emphasized the shared humanity of all individuals, regardless of their origin or circumstances. By sharing stories of resilience, hope, 
and the aspirations of migrants, he challenged stereotypes and encouraged empathy among communities. His efforts were met with both support and resistance. While some embraced his message and joined the cause, others clung to xenophobia and misinformation. Lucas faced criticism, backlash, and even threats, but he remained steadfast, fueled by the memory of those he had found in his nets. Their faces continued to haunt him, reminding him of the urgency and importance of his advocacy. As time went on, the collective efforts of Lucas and the movement he had inspired began to bear fruit. Governments and international organizations started to take notice, recognizing the need for comprehensive, compassionate, and just migration policies. The tragic events that unfolded in Seabreeze had served as a wake-up call, igniting a global conversation and spurring action. Lucas's tireless advocacy played a vital role in shaping public opinion and policy agendas. He collaborated with lawmakers, sharing his insights and experiences to influence legislation and advocate for the rights of migrants. His voice became a beacon of reason and compassion, reminding decision-makers that the pursuit of justice and human rights must remain at the forefront of their actions. Over time, the changes Lucas and his allies fought for began to materialize. Policies were reformed to address the underlying causes of migration, focusing on economic development, conflict resolution, and social justice. Humanitarian corridors were established, providing safe passage and assistance to those in need. The international community rallied together, committing resources and support to address the global migration crisis. In Seabreeze, a memorial was erected to honor the lives lost at sea, serving as a powerful reminder of the ongoing struggles faced by migrants around the world. The village itself became a model of inclusivity and support, embracing newcomers and offering a safe haven for those seeking refuge. The tragic events that unfolded had transformed Seabreeze into a symbol of resilience, compassion, and the potential for positive change. As the years passed, Lucas's advocacy work continued, fueled by the progress made and the knowledge that there was still much more to be done. He remained a steadfast advocate, a voice for those who had been silenced, and a beacon of hope for migrants and their families. His tireless efforts served as a reminder that one person, driven by compassion and determination, could ignite a movement and bring about lasting change. And in the hearts of those who had witnessed the transformative power of Lucas's advocacy, the legacy of the fishermen who had found bodies instead of fish lived on, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the unwavering belief that a more just and compassionate world was within reach. In the aftermath of the tragedy that had unfolded in Seabreeze, the village underwent a profound transformation. The residents, deeply moved by the events that had unfolded on their shores, came together with a shared purpose, to heal, to grow, and to build a community that exemplified resilience and compassion. Recognizing the need to address the wounds left by the drowned immigrants, the villagers embarked on a collective journey of healing. They held memorial services, creating a space for reflection and remembrance, honoring the lives lost at sea. The families and friends of the victims found solace in the support of their community, finding strength in unity during their time of grief. In the spirit of understanding and empathy, the villagers sought to deepen their knowledge of the complexities of migration. They organized educational programs, inviting speakers, scholars, and migrants themselves to share their stories and experiences. Through open dialogue and active listening, Seabreeze became a hub of knowledge, fostering a deeper understanding of the challenges faced by migrants and the importance of compassion. The transformative events had also spurred the villagers to examine their own biases and prejudices. They recognized the need to create an inclusive society, one that embraced newcomers and celebrated diversity. Community workshops were held to promote cultural understanding, where people of different backgrounds came together to share their traditions, customs, and perspectives. Bonds were formed, friendships forged, and barriers dissolved, as Seabreeze became a place where all were welcome. In this newfound spirit of acceptance, the village opened its arms to migrants seeking refuge. 
Seabreeze became a sanctuary, providing shelter, support, and opportunities for those who had endured unimaginable hardships. The villagers worked hand-in-hand -hand with humanitarian organizations, local authorities, and volunteers to ensure that every newcomer was treated with dignity and respect. The healing process extended beyond the village's borders as well. The movement ignited by Lucas had spread far and wide, inspiring other communities to follow Seabreeze's example. People around the world began to challenge stereotypes, confront xenophobia, and advocate for policies that prioritized human rights and compassion. Seabreeze became a beacon of hope, drawing visitors from near and far who sought to witness the remarkable transformation firsthand. The village thrived economically as tourism brought an influx of visitors eager to learn from its inspiring story. The newfound prosperity was not measured solely in monetary terms but in the shared sense of purpose and the bonds formed between locals and visitors alike. As the years passed, Seabreeze continued to evolve. Its commitment to healing and resilience remained steadfast, and the lessons learned from the tragedy endured. The village became a model of a community that had faced darkness head-on and emerged stronger and more compassionate. Its experiences served as a reminder that even in the face of tragedy, unity and compassion could bring about profound change. Lucas, the fisherman-turned-advocate, continued to play an instrumental role in the healing and resilience of Seabreeze. He shared his journey of transformation, inspiring others to confront their own biases and embrace the power of compassion. His presence served as a reminder of the importance of collective action and the enduring impact of one person's commitment to justice. In Seabreeze, the wounds left by the drowned immigrants would never be forgotten. Their memory lived on in the hearts of the villagers, a reminder of the urgent need for change and the resilience of the human spirit. Their legacy propelled Seabreeze forward, a community that had transformed tragedy into an opportunity for growth, understanding, and a more inclusive society. And as the waves gently lapped against the shores of Seabreeze, carrying with them the echoes of the past, the village stood as a testament to the power of healing, resilience, and the enduring capacity of the human spirit to forge a brighter and more compassionate future. In Seabreeze, the village that had weathered the storm of tragedy and emerged stronger, the fishermen no longer cast their nets with blind ambition. They cast their nets with a deeper understanding of the lives that hang in the balance, knowing that every catch could bring not just fish, but stories of resilience, dreams of a brighter future, and the weight of responsibility. The legacy of Lucas and the transformative events that unfolded in Seabreeze continued to inspire generations to come. The villagers, once touched by grief and guilt, now carried a profound sense of purpose. They remained vigilant in their commitment to advocating for the rights of migrants, addressing the root causes of migration, and fostering inclusive communities. The story of the fishermen who found bodies instead of fish echoed throughout the world, reminding us that the plight of migrants transcends borders and touches the very core of our humanity. It prompted conversations, sparked change, and fueled a global movement that recognized the urgency of creating a world where no one would have to risk their lives for a chance at a better future. And as the tides of time continued to ebb and flow, the sea itself stood as a witness to the transformative power of compassion. It whispered stories of resilience and hope, carrying the memories of those who had lost their lives at its depths. The ocean, once a silent accomplice to tragedy, became an advocate for change, its waves serving as a constant reminder that the path to a more just and compassionate world lay in our collective hands. In the years that followed, communities around the world, inspired by the story of Seabreeze, came together to create safer pathways for migration, to address the root causes of displacement, and to build inclusive societies that valued the inherent worth and dignity of every individual. The ripple effect of Lucas's journey extended far beyond the boundaries of Seabreeze, leaving an indelible mark on the global landscape. And so, the story of the fishermen and the drowned immigrants became a story of resilience, compassion, and the unwavering belief that together, we could create a world where no one would have to face the perils of the sea in search of a better life.
It was a story that reminded us of our shared responsibility to protect and uplift the most vulnerable among us, a story that called us to be the change we wish to see in the world. As the sun set on Seabreeze, casting a warm glow over the tranquil waters, the legacy of Lucas and the transformative events that unfolded there lived on. The village became a beacon of hope, a testament to the human capacity for healing, resilience, and the pursuit of justice. And in the hearts of those who carried the story within them, the flame of compassion burned brightly, lighting the way towards a more compassionate and inclusive future for all.